Welcome, welcome everybody. Hello chat. Hello, welcome to the news time. News time, I love this catchphrase. I used it so many times before. Welcome to the news time. I am live on Beyond the Brick for the first time ever. I'm so excited. So quick, um, quick rundown how it's gonna go. I, uh, thanks to the courtesy of the Hanlon brothers, I am running a live news show for the first time ever. And we're gonna go through kind of like a recap of the passing week in LEGO World. We're gonna show all the official pictures, no leaks, nothing unofficial. So we're gonna show all the official even, uh, events, happenings, unveilings of new sets of the passing week. Um, and at the end, I'm gonna take a few moments to actually um, interact with the chat because we want to do this sort of like a test run, like a news show and uh, you guys can be informed, you guys can be familiarized with what was happening in the LEGO world and at the end I'm gonna answer, be, uh, I'm gonna be spending some time with you guys answering all the questions and uh, chatting with you, saying hi to everybody, news, news time, I can see the chat just popping up crazy. We have so many things to cover this time. There is um, a bunch of new sets. Harry Potter 8080 that was just unveiled. Some crazy events in the LEGO world. Uh, some cancellations because of the current world situation. But we're gonna go all through this. So without further ado, welcome. I gotta click this button. Special, special button. Welcome to the news time. Okay, so some of the news that we're gonna cover, we had some hidden side sets, we had some, some stuff, but 8080 is the biggest of them all. So I'm just gonna switch to my little special screen and we're gonna cover the 8080. Basically what happened is um, that was dropped on Amazon Japan um, just yesterday, I believe. The 8080, uh, hold on, I got some, a lot of pictures here. That's the box art, that's uh, set number 75288, uh, 1267 pieces in total. That's quite a biggie. Um, and we have uh, $150, um, probably um, expected price tag, because it was in Japanese uh, yen. It was 21,000 yen, I believe. Somebody converted this to about 190 yen. Uh, but it's gonna be actually, I think, 150 in the US, and the set should be available somewhere in August. We have six minifigures, six minifigures with um, Luke, um, General Veers, two 8080 drivers, and two snowtroopers. So, a bit of an update from the 2014 set that is the, as you can see, the Empire Strikes Back anniversary edition. Um, a lot of these sets will be like that this year, uh, some pictures, but yeah, it looks good. Many people were covering um, this set yesterday. And I think it overall looks good. It has a lot of functionality. It has the looks winch when it crashed, when he crashed on Hoth. And overall, uh, he has the holder for the snow speeder, the snow speeder bike, not the snow speeder. Don't confuse this with the rebel ship. And uh, storage space for five minifigures, basically a squad of stormtroopers, and also an E web blaster, which is the heavy weapon of the Empire. You can see it from this side with the opening hatch. Uh, and I think. That being said, that is definitely one of the best looking 8080s so far and one of the most um, useful ones in terms of playability and playset. It's not a UCS set, some people were expecting a motorized set, but it's not. So there you go. Uh, it's coming somewhere in August. We don't know the exact day yet, date yet. It's, chat is saying 150 to 160 USD. Yes, we're guessing this, this price at this point. At this uh, price range, I think it's gonna be this. You can see the uh, minifigure selection. So from the previous one, they added one extra driver, they removed one snow trooper, and Luke is added to this set as well. There you go. Very cool. Okay. We got some more things to cover. So 8080 is exciting. Um, by the way, you can probably see a lot of videos on the internet. I also did a coverage on my own channel, The Cool Factor. You should subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for having me, by the way, John and Joshua. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I do my, I, I, I have my own channel, The Cool Factor. All right, the other, another stuff that, another, another stuff, English is very hard for me, is the Harry Potter collection. Yes, Harry Potter was officially announced um, which is amazing. Uh, we have six sets in total coming uh, and I think this is a discrepancy because they are coming June in Europe and they're coming August officially in the US. So there is about a few month discrepancy here. Uh, Lego did that before, so nothing uh, to be super 
happy about uh, when you are a US customer, but here we are. Okay, so we have six sets in total. I do have a little presentation here. So first of all, this is the um, private drive. Hold on. Okay, the private drive. Boom, check this one out. So the private drive is basically is, uh, one of the medium sets. Uh, six minifigures, $70 price tag, 797 pieces. We have uh, the Dursley family, Harry, and also um, Dobby is in this set. Uh, basically, it's, uh, it's where it all started. So this set will be pretty amazing. In that matter, you have the Dursley family house. Uh, the Fort Anglia, as you can see right now, uh, the Harry's little uh, space under the, under the stairs. And also the Hogwarts letters hid hiding in the chimney and that scene when they shoot off to uh, Uncle Vernon. So very, very cool set. I want to show this one first because I think this one is one of my most favorite, if I think about it, scenes of all time in the Harry Potter. That's where it all began. And that's where we seeing this. Okay, the next set, let me just bring it up on the screen. The next set is, I'm gonna show maybe the small ones, back to the small ones. Um, that's the Room of Requirement. Room of Requirement, it's a set number uh, 75966, 193 pieces. It's a one of the small ones, $20 packs, with three minifigures, Hermione, Luna Lovegood, and Harry. We have a sort of a fourth minifigure of the dummy, training dummy they used to uh, train the defense against the dark arts. We have Patronuses of Rabbit, of Luna, and uh, the author of Hermione and also the proclamations from the High Inquisitor on the wall. So a little sad, but I think many people will find this a favorite one. It's a cheap one. It has one of the most iconic scenes from the whole series of books and movies, and it's overall gonna be um, flying off the shelves, as I like to say it. I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty dope. All right, moving to the next one. We have the Forbidden Forest, 75967, actual full name is Forbidden Forest, Umbridge's Encounter, uh, 253 pieces with $30 price tag and five, five figures, two centaurs, everybody's excited about the centaurs, we get Dolores Umbridge, Harry and Hermione, and the build double, build double figure of Graup, the giant, and that's the scene when they actually befriended him, Do you have seen some supplies hidden in the Forbidden Forest tree, but I think many people are saying that centaurs are the highlight of this set with the new body of a half horse, half human, and attachment for the minifigure torso. And also Umbridge, is, uh, she's having a new, more like a pinkish outfit in this one. And yeah, it's, it's one of those sets. I think somebody's saying it's gonna sell like hotcakes. All these sets will be selling like hotcakes. These are amazing sets and many people are considering this to be one of the strongest waves in Harry Potter so far. Okay. We're getting to the more exciting stuff, the big ones, the big stuff. Okay, the Astronomy Tower, Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, 971 pieces. That is set number 75969, $100 price tag. So that's the biggest of the bunch. Uh, no, oh, not, no, not the biggest, not the biggest. We're gonna see one more. Eight minifigures. Uh, basically, let's see, uh, I think we have Slackhorn, we have, uh, I, I got, I got the, I just gotta check the, all the minifigures to make sure I do not, let's see, okay, yes, so we have Lavender Brown, Luna Lovegood, Neville Longbottom, Draco Malfoy, Horace Slackhorn, Lorne Weasley, Hermione, and Harry, and this is the Slackhorn's party, basically. Um, so the Astronomy Tower is one of those like ad attachment sets where we're gonna actually have uh, attachment to the previous sets of that buildable Hogwarts and uh, overall I, uh, the height of it, it looks very, very impressive. Let me just bring it up again. Cool, I love this, this slideshow function. Um, and it has, yeah, it has so many functions. We have Draco in the tower, we have uh, the little poop pieces for chocolate fondue fountain, which is funny. Um, great prints overall, as you can see, rolling off the screen right now. I want it! Very good, very good. Yes, it is very good. Uh, I think many people will find it one of the most amazing sets of the entire wave. High, it's very high, it's gonna be a great display piece. It has the um, little greenhouse with the mandrakes. 
in there. Um, you can see all oh, right now Slughorn and Harry in the, in the greenhouse. Uh, the boy who lived. Um, there you go. Nice. I really love this set so far. Okay, we got two more to cover. And this is the Hedwig. Um, the Hedwig is basically a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so you have to go to the Barnes & Noble store or barnesandnoble.com to actually purchase it. This one is 75979, 630 pieces for $40, one figure of Harry in his Quidditch outfit and owl with spread wings. So Harry, I think, is going to be exclusive to this set. Definitely, definitely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. And it's going to look display great on display, like I have that space behind me, and I really want this set because it's going to fit just fine on my little shelves that I use for my little background. Um, cool. Yeah, and it has flapping wings. You can uh, rotate the knob and it's going to flap the wings. Awesome, one more set. Attack on the Burrow, the biggest one. Target exclusive this time around, so only Target customers can buy it. It's, it's been happening before, so don't be, don't be surprised. 75980 Attack on the Burrow, 10,000. Uh, 10, <laughs> I, would, I would like to. 1,047 pieces, uh, $100, eight minifigures. And also we have uh, Bellatrix, we have Fenrir Greyback, we have uh, Nymphadora Tonks, I think. We have the, Weas uh, the Weasley family and also Harry uh, Potter. So uh, I think only the, um, the brothers of Weasley family are missing in this one. Uh, beautiful vertical set with a little canted thing because it's a rickety rackety house of theirs. That's the exact similar they're defending from the Death Eaters. So that's why the Fenrir Greyback and also Bellatrix Lestrange are in this set. Look at this beautiful shot. I love these kids' smiling faces. I think I'm going to be smiling as much as they do when I get it. Okay, so those are the Harry Potter sets. If you guys were not um, knowledgeable about, the, about these, now you are. Cool. <laughs> um, let's see what, we, what else we have on the beautiful list of today. We have um, also the Lego Marvel and DC sets that were announced. Um, we have, uh, let me see if I can bring, the, bring it up on the screen. Marvel and DC sets were like basically uh, shown, the first initial wave was shown um, and the first Marvel wave includes one set of his team so far, two brand new sets with the Helicarrier and the DC wave pretty much includes three different Batman sets. Um, so uh, for all of you, all, all of you um, fans of the DC series, let's, let's go into this. Let me just bring it up on the screen. Okay, so the first one, uh, this one was announced beforehand, but now we have uh, high quality pictures. It's the one I'm waiting for quite a bit. It's the uh, Venomosaurus Ambush 76151 with 640 pieces. And yes, we are getting the Spider Ham. Uh, now, I thought this was going to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but it's not. And even Comic Con is cancelled, we're going to talk about this in a second. Um, this is coming in a normal set. So we have uh, Spider Man, Spider Ham, Iron Spider, and Venom with a spider vehicle. And also uh, the beautiful looking, kind of cool, cool looking, um, cool looking uh, Venomosaurus with Venom stuff on it. There you go. Okay, bringing up the pictures. See, pretty awesome, huh? I think I'm going to wait for this one quite a bit. Some action shots. This is like a skeleton with a goo on it. Yes, very cool set. Very cool set. Yeah, I love this this, this spider ham thingy. Okay. We have more stuff. Let's see if I can bring it up. There we go. It's a bit, a bit of a glitchy computer today. Um, we have Avengers Wrath of Loki. So this one is a smaller set. It's a four plus set. Let me see if I have the details. 76152, 223 pieces, $60. Price tag. I'm not gonna talk about the price tag right now. I know it's high. You can go crazy in the chat. We have Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Thor, Loki, and Hulk, with a small build for the Avengers Tower and the little jet um, and Loki's vehicle. So I think the price tag is made basically because of the Hulk big fig. Uh, learn to build, so it's easy to build. Basically, totally easy to build. A good selection of minifigures, but the price is is quite 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 high if you ask me. The next set 
is the 76153 Avengers Helicarrier. Um, this one was announced also this week. Um, the, uh, finally, a playable Helicarrier, not a UCS set. We have Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Captain Marvel, War Machine, Nick Fury, uh, two agents, I believe, or one agent. Uh, I think, the, yeah, one agent. And uh, the Modok, comeback of the Modok, which is cool. Um, this set is uh, uh, 1,244 pieces for $120 um, dollars or euro. Right now we have the official euro price, but I think it's going to be $120. You can see the functionality. It has the rotating propellers. You can turn the, turn the radar dish in the back and actually flip the propellers. Um, it has the cage for the Modoc, a little, a little um, shield fighter jet on top of that. And good looks, but quite a different look from your usual heli carrier. Usually the superstructure is on the top of the deck. The deck is a bit canted like a Nimitz class carrier, but this one has the command bridge in the front. So it's a bit different. It's slightly different. Hey, Brian, welcome to the chat. Thanks for, thanks for joining, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, some action shots. You can see the functionality, yeah. Rotated the radar dish, the, all the four pro propellers will actually move. So that's pretty awesome. All right. And I think we can now move to DC. There we go. Uh, DC, so we have three Batman sets. Um, Penguin Pursuit 4 plus, 76158 with 54 pieces and um, $10 price tag. So nothing too crazy, just Penguin and the Batman. Easy to build, learn to build. There you go, a little rubber ducky. Kids gonna love it in the bath time. Um, and then, yeah, that's a close, close shot of the minifigures. We have Joker Strikes Chase 76159 with two vehicles, uh, Bat sort of a Batmobile and Joker Strike with minifigures of Batman, Robin, Harley Quinn, and the Joker. Um, 76159 price, uh, price tag. <laughs> Set number 440 pieces with 50 euro price tag or $50 most likely. Um, people saying they had a the interior. Yes, I'm going to interact with the Chuck right after I'm done with all this. It's basically a live news show. That's what it is. Um, you can see the functionality the the track will go chop, 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 just just as, as, as like this. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, two capes for the Batty and Harley Quinn also has a really cool hair mold. There's the bike for Robin. There we go. Okay. Fan favorite? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's not pricey. It's actually normal, but yeah. Yeah, chop, chop, move forward, chop, chop. See? And the Batman uh, actually has a kind of like a cool windshield uh, to maybe do a mock of some stealth fighters in the future. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> yeah, minifigures close shot. And the big one is the mobile bat base. 76160 with 743 pieces with $90 or 90 euro price tag, so expensive, but you get Batman, Batgirl, Nightwing, Mr. Freeze, Bronze Tiger for the first time, and Man Bat in albino version, white Man Bat. And it basically reminds me of the Ultimate Batmobile from the Lego Batman movie. It has vehicles that connect to the truck all over the place, uh, the little um, ATV, the bike, there's sort of a Batwing or some sort of a capsule. Um, and yeah, they all, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, they all basically connect to the track just like it was with the Ultimate Batmobile for the LEGO Batman movie. We have the command center, so I call it the Batman version of the LEGO Police HQ track. Remember that one? It was like an HQ track. Yeah, there we go. So you have all the things in the jet ski. There's a bat ski, bat jet ski as well. So uh, yeah, five vehicles in total, which four of them connect the main track. Yeah, action shots, more action, more action, it's Batman. Batman and chilling. Connection established with his Batcave, Wayne Enterprises, uh, Mr. Freeze in the back, the bike goes there, oh my god, so many things happening, ah, a lot of minifigures, awesome, cool, okay, let's switch to more stuff from LEGO, haha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm, I'm running a live production, guys, here, so I hope you enjoy it, because it's, it's, kind of, it's a lot, I have five screens, I have a uh, Benny on the on the command vehicle outside connecting me to the world. We're good, Benny. Cool. Okay, awesome. Next step in our news coverage for today, for this show, is... Let me see if I can bring it up on the screen. I have so many tabs open right now. It's kind of crazy. We covered this. So, BrickFan.com uh, actually shown some pictures from D. From V. Let's see if I... Do I have it somewhere? Mm. From Jurassic World, 
summer 2020 sets. So the brickfan.com, uh, I think those come from Rakuten, one of the online retailers. Let me just bring it up. Um, yeah, Jurassic World Summer Sets 2020. We don't have any high quality pictures yet, but these were, um, uh, I think, starting on a pre-sale right now on rakuten.com. And um, we, have, we have basically the set numbers and also the um, names. So Doctor Who's Laboratory with 75939 uh, set number. We have two cute dinosaurs. Look at those guys. First time ever. Um, piece of laboratory, laboratory level. English hard language, I know. And we have two minifigures on top of that. Uh, Gallimimus, I agree the cookies. Yes, I agree to the cookies. Gallimimus and Pteranodon Hunt 75940 with a cool vehicle of the Hunter, kind of like a symmetrical set here. And uh, three minifigures with uh, new color for the Pteranodon. And I think that dinosaur is new with, I think that's basically a Velociraptor's body with a new head to it. Um, yeah, I like the oversized wheels, overall looks cool. House of Gyrospheres, again, sort of, that Gyrosphere technology is appearing in sets so many times, it's the same uh, sign here. I don't remember the name of this dinosaur, but it's so amazing. Uh, sort of like a grey body with much more menacing uh, jaw, if you will, so much, much more dangerous than the T-Rex, I believe. Um, this one is also cool with the spikes here. I'm terrible at dinosaurs, I, I used to love the dinosaurs when I was a kid. But now I don't, I don't remember half the names, so apologies. Five minifigures, and yeah, it's actually a pretty cool build. We don't have the pricing yet, though. London Water Hunting with um, the Blue Raptor, basically from the Lego movie <laughs> at this point. Um, a, a plane and two minifigures in a buggy. Cool, thanks, thanks, Brickfan. Thank you, Brickfan. Thank you, Brickfan. Okay, moving, 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 moving on, moving on. This is a long episode because we had so many news appearing this week. It's kind of crazy. Like usually there is much less than this, um, but for today is actually quite a lot. Let me see if I can find something real quick for you because there was one more announcement. No, I, it's not here. Okay, awesome. So we are moving to Lego. Lego dots, just a quick one, because like I think many of you are kind of expecting the dots to be somewhat in, in their collection. Yes, I agree to the cookies. Thank you, BrickFan. Another from the BrickFan, so Lego Dots Summer 2020 official set images. Um, basically, dots are expanding in sort of like a sorting boxes right now. Um, so it's we have 405 pieces, 41907 uh, desk organizer. Let me see if I can zoom it in. 405 pieces. Uh, so yeah, we had bracelets, starting with the bracelets and some uh, creative sets, but now we have sort of or organizer sets for um for you to like 4193 uh, mega pack 300 pieces there we go bracelets basically bracelets for four people or five people even so yeah, there we go i love those prints in the dots so might as well pick them up who knows my, my kids will, will, would, would absolutely love them um we have creative picture frames 41914 398 pieces and yeah creative picture frames just as the name suggests um, jewelry box for one nine one five three hundred seventy four pieces. Jewelry box, just as the, as the name says. Surprise, right? Uh, extra dots series two. So they're turning this into a series for one nine one six one hundred nine pieces. Super rare. Yeah, BFF monkey love rockets and whatever. Magic force bracelet. So I think those are just bracelets um, that are expanding the collection of bracelets. So if you haven't picked up your bracelets yet, now is a good time to do so. Or soon, very soon. Moving on! Okay. We covered this, we covered this. I have a big list, guys. This is a big list. Chat, you are awesome. Very good. Thank you. I, I, I see. If you like this, we're going to turn this into a recurring series. So this is a test run. So you guys make sure to click like, click subscribe. Check out Beyond the Bricks other videos. We have a lot of amazing content. Bricks O'Brien is in the chat too. He has gaming content. We game. We we have fun. Every Thursday there's a gaming um, live stream. Every Tuesday there is a quarantine cast guest live stream when we host. Uh, John and Joshua are hosting sometimes me, sometimes Brian, and always a guest from LEGO World. So tune in for that. Um, and subscribe, like, click the like button, show the support so I can turn this into an actual uh, regular series every Saturday at 10 a.m. That's what we're trying to do. I hope you're gonna like it. Okay, <laughs> chat is going crazy. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, 
Moving on, I, I, I'm just marking off things I covered this, this stream. Uh, we have some more good news, that is... The architecture set was so, sort of revealed. Um, let me see if I can bring it up. There you go, brickfan.com, architecture the White House. So this is not the first White House for architecture. Uh, we used to have the first one, but this one has the wings and the front yard garden, the north garden, the north uh, lawn of the White House. So it's a bit of an expanded set. 21054 and it's gonna go for a hundred and has uh, 1483 pieces. So for you architecture fans, I think that is a good upgrade. Uh, it looks much better um, than the previous one. It has the west wing, the east wings and the north lawn. And they say it's gonna be available June 1st, but the release may be August 1st. So we're gonna have to wait for some confirmation on that. There we go. Okay. Very nice. I love the transitions. I worked on them all night. I, I swear I did work on them all, all night, every night. Guys, we should actually visit lego.com right now because more, more current news is that... Um, well, the, the, the promotions are live. We have May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Happy May the 4th. Actually, it's May the 2nd, but you, you, get, the, you get the shtick. You get the shtick. Happy May the 4th. Let's see what we have. If you haven't, you can purchase the A-Wing. The Ultimate Collector Series A-Wing is right now available. The event still is going for 2 days, 10 hours, 31 minutes and 50 seconds. There we go. Um, so May the 4th is basically this Star Wars event every year where LEGO uh, and everybody celebrates Star Wars and they try to do some promos. They usually launch a UCS set. They, to, this year's UCS set is the UCS A-Wing. Um, let's go to May the 4th page. Uh, I, will, I will do it another time. Thank you, LEGO. Um, and right now the offers are, with $75 purchase, you get the, um, the actual Death Star to battle. Which is, funny enough, you should say, I have it somewhere. I, I broke it, I broke it. I have it somewhere, entertainment, right? I do have it somewhere, oh. This is official, right? John and Joshua, it's gotta be official. So you can expect a little something from me on this channel soon. Or on Facebook. Also follow the Beyond the Brick on Facebook. Check it out. So we're gonna have to open this bad boy somewhere uh, sometime soon. But uh, double VIP points on certain sets. I think um, uh, not sure which ones, but you, you can shop and you're gonna see the tag which double VIP points are. We do not have sales for Star Wars sets, which is weird. Um, sometimes you know they would do the sales. Um, on May the 4th, but this time around I don't see any sales in the US. I've, I've been hearing that there are sales in Europe, actually, but not in the US, unfortunately. Um, and you can pre-order the uh, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, <laughs> the child uh, ba uh, battle pack, Brickheads. And you can do the Razor Crest as well, and you will get actual double VIP points, I think, on that too, on Star Wars sets. Uh, please, please confirm on the website, I'm not really sure, but you can pre-order and you can qualify for that for the promo if you pre-order today. And you can also buy the DO. And I think the minion sets, at least one minion set is also available right now. Okie dokie. Moving on, we have some other uh, news from the LEGO world. Basically, uh, let me see if I can make sure it's on the screen. Um, LEGO teamed up, LEGO teamed up with Universal Music Group. What's gonna, that, what that's gonna mean, we have no idea. Um, what happened is that they signed a deal to create some sort of a music um, initiative uh, in the future. I think people recall this in the chat, in the comments, to the Bionicle back in that like 2001 or something, um, that uh, they were creating actual music in cooperation with the Universal. And, but this is all we know so far. Um, what they say, Innovative music initiative combining passion for music with the iconic LEGO system in play. It's official uh, press release from Billund. Um, products launching in 2021. Created to encourage and inspire the next generation of musicians, creatives and fans. The positive and playful initiative uh, arms, aims to reinforce childhood development and harness the mental and creative benefits of music and LEGO play. Sounds very um, interesting and secretive. Uh, so we're gonna have to see what this will bring. Julia Golden from the LEGO Group, the CMO of the LEGO Group, says, We know music is a huge passion for many children. It's an incredible ability to engage and unite children and their families, just like the LEGO Brick. 
The partnership will see us celebrate the power of merging music and the Lego system in play, providing children with a whole new way of creatively expressing, to creatively express themselves to, by bringing to life music in their own world, their own way. Ooh, very inspirational. Thank you, Lego group. I can't wait. I mean, you know, new things, secretive things, we can only say that it's gonna be pretty, pretty fun to see what, what, what the future holds with that collaboration. Um, chat is going crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have. We have, uh, I think we should also mention, like given that universal deal, um, that Lego Group actually signed a five-year partnership with actual the, the, the movie portion of Universal um, Pictures, Universal Pictures. Um, the group, I think that was announced a few days ago on April 23rd. Um, and they will be uh, basically the Warner Brothers partnership with Lego that produced the, uh, the Batman movies and so on and the Lego movie ended by the, with the end of the year and um, now Lego is switching to Universal. So both in music world and in movie world we're going to be seeing cooperation with Lego Universal. What that will bring we have no idea but it's only announced at this point. So five year with Universal Warner Brothers partnership as far as we know is for now over. Okay. There we go. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, oh, this is an interesting topic. Um, let me see. Oh, there we go. So, as you as you guys may know, um, Lego acquired Bricklink some time ago, and there were two major announcements about Bricklink this passing time. First of all, Soho Bricks was shut down by Lego. Basically what Soho Bricks was, was like an alternative bricks manufacturer. They were basically building um, copies of Lego bricks on their own and that was sort of like a, a effort. It, was, it wasn't like a, like a bad, um, bad riddance effort, if I may, but it was sort of like an attempt to provide under the Bricklink wings um, a cheaper alternative to a bigger amount of bricks for like uh, child places like charities, hospitals or like communities with who need who who can't afford Lego. It was sort of like a, this general idea, but Soko Bricks was shut down uh, because they were Lego did not say it's it's in infringement of any sort of like copying or anything, but they officially said that such a large investment is simply not commercially viable to make this platform a viable platform for Lego from the business side of things. Uh, they had 34 people working there and they will provide them with financial packages to reflect their user of service and um, those are above the statutory requirements. So Lego is, is helping the uh, affected Soho Bricks employees but the platform uh, is officially shut down and that thing is worth noting. Okay, uh, and also when it comes to Bricklink we had uh, announcements regarding the Bricklink XP. So let me let me show you what's up with Bricklink XP. I think that was rolling out uh, in a, in some time already. But Bricklink XP is um, an update of, of Bricklink because Lego Group now acquired Bricklink and owns it, and uh, this is meant to be uh, friendly for new users on Bricklink, like seasoned users on Bricklink. You know, buying lots of pieces, they are familiar with the website. But as Bricklink grows and becomes part of the Lego Group, they try to convey sort of like a way to boost users' experience. Whoever is trying to build mocks for the first time ever, coming out of their dark ages, they're trying to catch up with things and see where they can get the old sets, the old bricks, or just bricks for mocks. And Bricklink is basically at this point one of the very few places on the internet that you can buy bulks of Lego from, from stores that are not Lego. And Bricklink acquired, uh, you know, being part of Lego Group now tries to improve that experience. And I think this is driven by the Lego Group itself. So uh, to accomplish these goals, the Bricklink X XP is meant to redesign the Brick platform so that Bricklink can be used on any browser, whether it's desktop, laptop, or mobile phone. Updated the interface to help users find what they're looking for with visual cues and so on and so on. Remap the entire catalog, uh, build smarter search, search and to help um, find what you need and improve the checkout um, yeah, and the management, order management process. I don't use Bricklink myself. Um, a lot of, I've seen some comments of people not being happy with the update, I think. Um, so we'll see how this goes. They're trying to roll it out. A lot of people are, are engaged. The old school Bricklink users are engaging with a ne negative feedback 
saying that it doesn't really work for the seasoned ones. It's more if you want to buy a single set, it's going to work. If you buy specific breeds, it's people uh, report this being harder. I'm not I, I have no opinion on this, but you can find it yourself. Um, just go to Bricklink and you will see that statement from Bricklink on what Bricklink XP is. So something to 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 notice. OK, we're, we're almost winning down with this show. So hold on one more second. OK. Right now, um, also, we got to we got to ac uh, acknowledge the fact that Brickworld Chicago is canceled. So Brickworld for us, especially here at Beyond the Brick, uh, that was the event we were planning to go to. And uh, it's officially canceled. As you guys know, it's expected to happen. Um, all of the events are canceled. San Diego Comic Con was canceled. Also an announcement that struck me uh, personally the most because I'm in San Diego and I love this event and I go every year. It's been one, one of the very few things I've been waiting for the most, but also Brickworld Chicago is canceled. You can see all the information, how the refunds will process. You can actually move your pledge, move your tickets to the, another year. Same goes for the registration if you want to. Um, they're going to be running also virtual events. They run, I think, uh, the first one will be May, th May 16, then June 27, October 31, and December 12. You can buy virtual tickets to our virtual event. Uh, we had a stream on that. Uh, John was holding an interview with the Bricklink, uh, sorry, Bricklink, uh, Brickworld um, main person to actually um, explain how it's going to go. So tune in for that. It's going to be probably on the channel um, if, if you search for it. But yeah, it's, it's officially canceled. And same goes for pretty much all the conventions at this point. So nothing uh, surprising, but this was one of these events that was holding its length to try to d d you know, push it forward, push it back, and make sure maybe see if they can actually run it, but they can't. Yeah, there's a question in the chat. Who was planning to attend Brickworld Chicago? Yeah, it's canceled officially. So, But you can attend. I, I recommend you to check out their virtual options. You can actually go to the events and do virtual stuff. All right. OK, and the last thing I want to do on this stream, by the way, because before we went down, it's been longer than I expected, but a lot of news to cover. Some weeks are like crazy like this. Some weeks are slower, but it's going to depend on the amount of news coverage we can do. But I want to I wanna talk about Lego ideas for a few moments, because right now we have, I think, the biggest review stage ever on Lego Ideas and just this passing week or like two weeks sort of one two three four five six seven sets were moved into the review stage which is crazy um, just just this few passing days uh, Brickman was covering all of it and I have a list here so let's let's see what what's up with Lego Ideas um, by the way I think right now it's like 25 or 20 something sets in the review stage but I just want to highlight these guys, by the way, um, Beyond the Brick is also running uh, Idea Spotlight stream series. So this is a new series as well. So tune in for that. Um, you can check out the previous episodes in the, one of the newest videos on the channel as you're watching right now. And uh, they're trying to pick up some great idea sets and show them on a stream, talk about them and things like that. So tune in. It's also very fun content. Iron Giant 20th Anniversary Edition is coming from Brett Kuv. And this one just achieved uh, 10,000 supporters a few days ago. Uh, very iconic, you know, duo, if you will. Uh, actually, we have extra minifigures. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... I'm not going to spend too much time on them, but you can see what's up. Um, Kent Mansley and his fedora, Dean McCoffin with a coffee, Hoggart Hughes, uh, and the main build, and Annie Hughes as well, and the main build of the giant himself. Um, around 1,000 pieces, the designer is saying. Very cool. Okay, the next one would be the globe. I think this was just passed, just passed. Uh, the um, the required um, threshold of 10,000 supporters. Disney Brick 55 is the designer, fan designer of the set, and people are going crazy over this. 36 centimeters of width, 32 centimeters of length, and 39 centimeters of height, of height with 2,060 parts. That's a lot. But we have a globe, um, very nice looking. I think this might be a very good idea set, especially. Um, uh, with all the custom prints we might be getting, actually, like look at the way he built um, the the continents. I think having a lot of custom prints might be difficult for Lego to pull off, and I don't see this being a sticker version. Maybe just plates. We'll see, um, like tiles, printed tiles. But it's gonna be hard to pull off. But nevertheless, very very good design. Uh, the next one is Blue Origin New Glen Rocket with launch tower and Blue Moon Lander with one to one hundred tenth scale. 
And this is coming from one of the famous companies uh, in the space industry next to the SpaceX, Blue Origin. Um, you can see it's coming from Matthew Nolan, just got into the 10,000 volt lineup. Um, the rocket looks cool. I would love to have a Falcon 9, by the way, if you know me. But yeah, his design has all the stages and everything. Congratulations, Matthew, for the acceptance into that into that lineup. And the next one would be The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Hyrule Castle. Also, highly requested theme to, for LEGO to make. Now that we have LEGO Mario and everything Nintendo, this may actually be something to do in the future. Legend of Zelda. Uh, this is coming from Brick Gallery. And the castle is simply beautiful. Uh, uh, let's see, we have uh, Throne Room, uh, Guardians, Calamity Cannon, Akorok, and Link, of course. Uh, Paraglider, Helion Shield, all the things. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with Zelda, but many of you probably are, so there we go. And minifigure of Link would be, would be just amazing. And we have the Futurama Planet Express Headquarters, Spaceship and the Crew from Thomas W. Um, also just achieved the support. Um, about, oh my god, over, over 20, 2,100 pieces, like if, you, if I look at this, it's, it's basically 2,100, it's like 2,300 pieces, pl pretty much. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, congrats Thomas W on this one as well, I, I love the little uh, Planet Express. Definitely something I would, I love Futurama, I mean, come on, the crew, there we go. Uh, might be a hard to acquire the license, honestly. Uh, we have Queen the Miracle Express, Queen, the Miracle Express by Artistic Shadow. Um, and I'm not familiar with this at all. Oh, that's the Queen! Oh my god, that's basically the band Queen. I was like, what, is the, what does the Queen mean? Freddie Mercury and the Queen band. I was like, okay, I got it now. <laughs> of course I love Queen, I love their music. Uh, and that's one of the famous tour, tour um, trains ever. Musical uh, set definitely should should be considered by Lego. Thank you, Artistic Shadow. And the last one, yeah, the Globe Octary. So we, we covered this. So we had, um, I had the Globes, I think, open twice. So six sets, six sets in there. Okay, guys. Whew, that's it for the news this week. That's gonna be it for this news this week. Thank you so much for watching. Now let me know what you think about this format. This was longer than expected. The news are crazy um, this week around. Um, we had so many unveilings. There is more to come. There, is some, there were some leaks that I cannot show, but uh, the likes of Monkey Kid, the Ninja Go, and things like that. I think we can expect official pictures very, very soon. So if you like this format, if you enjoyed what I had to say, make sure to subscribe, like, and tune in next week. We're going to see if we're going to do a next week one. Um, Minecraft Hidden Side. Yeah, so these are not really official pictures, CJ helps. So I'm just trying to cover things that were officially shown and announced. Um, those were leaks, sort of. So I'm gonna we're gonna be waiting for official pictures on these. Uh, I know you, um, you can find them in the internet, but I cannot point you to that. I hope I hope you you, you understand. But yes, I am aware of other sets being shown over all over the place. But let's wait for official pictures, please. Um, absolutely, we should do that. We should do, we should wait for the official pictures. What about Star Wars? What is going to leak? Um, it's, well, leak, well, let's wait for the official announcement. Only the 8080 was shown so far. Only the 8080 was shown so far. So uh, we're not showing any sort of leaks on this channel. Like we, we are, we are the, um, you know, important in the LEGO world and we don't want to show any sort of leaks. It's not supposed to be shown, honestly, but yeah, I know stuff is leaking. Let's wait for some official announcements. Nice. Thank you. Okay, let's let's see the chat for a second. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for for joining today. This is the chat portion of of the um, of the stream. Lego Mario. Lego Mario was announced some time ago. I'm just covering the news from the passing week. So Lego Mario was announced quite a few moments ago, and it's already on a pre-order phase. So you can actually go to Lego.com and and find Super Mario sets and uh, pre-order them. I think right now actually they're sold out on pre-order phase, but it's it's official. Uh, from as of a few weeks now. Custom Lego. Yeah, we do custom Lego a lot on the channel. If you want to subscribe, you can you can check out events uh, coverage that we do a lot of the times. It's main main content on Beyond the Brick, so check it out. There is no events right now, so we're trying to do new types of content, and that's one of them. Enjoy. <laughs> do you think any more Clone Wars sets will come out? Um, most likely, yes. I mean, come on. The show is blowing right now. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's blowing up. 
I, I haven't seen the few episodes yet, but people are really raving over the last few episodes with the Clone Wars, and I don't see the reason for LEGO not to make Clone Wars sets. Um, they're just waiting probably with the proper announcement, so stay tuned. Imperial Star Destroyer, what do you mean? The UCS set was announced quite some time ago, and I already actually have it as a few months. <laughs> Do you think LEGO Bricks and Pieces will be integrated in, into BrickLink uh, and its auto-select feature in the future? Ben, that is a good question. I have no idea. Um, uh, LEGO is doing things with BrickLink. They're trying to implement their own uh, procedures and actions into the platform. So we might see an actual integration with the Brick, uh, brick and Pieces, uh, pick, and, pick and Brick, uh, you know, that online uh, official LEGO service with BrickLink at some point in time. Right now, the, as I mentioned, the Bricklink XP, they're sort of trying to make it automated process. So you just, for people who have, who want the easy ordering process, you go to Bricklink, you click a few buttons and you order the parts just as you used to from Bricklink, except with a much more user-friendly interface. Um, so maybe LEGO will be integrating the, their own service into Bricklink at some point in time. I have no, no more information on that yet. I really hope for an ATTE. Yeah, that would be good. Troll sets. Uh, already announced some time ago. Trolls are available on sale, for sale, as of two or three months now. <laughs> two months, I think. One month. Yeah, they're available. So nothing new from Trolls. Um, do you think there will be more Troll sets? I don't know, maybe with the success of the uh, home release of the Trolls World Tour. I think it broke like a hundred million um, in, in, in box office, in home box office. Uh, we may see another wave, who knows? It's, it's a very popular theme, apparently. Thank you for doing this, Natalie, you're welcome. How does Bricklink shipping work? Chase, you basically, Bricklink is a set of, of individual stores. Uh, consider this like an eBay for Lego. Um, when you buy from Bricklink, you actually send the order to a specific store that has the stock of that brick you are selecting, or the set, or whatever you're buying, or the minifigure. And that store charges you for shipping. Some stores have free shipping on certain amounts. Some stores charge you normal um, shipping rates. So you will see that in the checkout, most likely. But yes, it's not buying from Lego per se at this, at this point. It's buying from individual third-party stores that each and every one of them can charge you different rates for shipping or provide free shipping. What is Lego Trolls? Uh, well, it's the, that new phenomenon, uh, you know from Universal that's killing it in the home box office and trolls are sets of that phenomenon. Do you have guns for minifigures? Lego is actually not, not putting a lot of guns in minifigures. Except for Star Wars, that is. <laughs> and some, some exceptions. Is the Lego Ford Mustang a good birthday gift? It's an excellent birthday gift if you're talking about the Creator Expert set. That is one of my favorite sets of all time because I love Mustangs. So go for it. It's a great set if you can if you can find it. It's sold out right now everywhere, I think. Where can I buy pieces for A-Wing that I don't find? Older version? Oh, that might be tough. Bricklink is your best bet. How long does it usually take for a big building project? I don't know. Some people do mocks for years and they don't finish. It's crazy. Welcome. What's up, Daniel? Welcome. Guys, you are amazing. Um, we're, we are nearing, I think, 40-minute um, mark or, or even 50-minute mark. or It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, I think we're going to be winding down. What's up? Thanks for the answer. No worries. Do you like the UCS Millennium Falcon? Yes. Probably one of my favorite sets of all time. Get rid of invoices? Well, that's how businesses work. They have to have invoices. Do you have sales? What do you mean? We, we don't sell Lego, like beyond the brick. We don't. We just, we just talk about Lego here <laughs> and show Lego. So good. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I guess you like the, the show, the format. The music just stopped, but we're going to be winding down in a second. See you, Connor. Thanks for joining, by the way, my friend. Also, my subscriber. Lovely. Yeah, check out the Cool Factor. I do have my own channel um, if you want to see my other content. Who's my favorite Star Wars character? Yoda! <laughs> I, 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 I need to drink some water. I can do the Yoda voice usually much better. The show is great. Thank you. I hope you liked it. it. It was a long one this week. A long one this week because we had so much stuff to cover. Honestly, like I have... I, 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 I'm swearing, guys. I have about 25 tabs open right now. And I try to do it live. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Legos are so expensive. Legos, I hate that word. 
<laughs> Lego is actually plural. Education time. Lego is plural, so you don't say Legos. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, they're not expensive, actually. If you think about it, I think Lego is fairly priced, but that's my opinion. In the US, some, some parts of the world, it might be expensive, but in the US, Lego, I think, uh, when it comes to quality, is, is reasonably priced, if you think about it, like, if you, if you deep dive into it. If you deep dive into it, it's, it's kind of affordable. It's, it's quality. It's quality, definitely. I really enjoyed the news. Thank you. <laughs> I have better Yoda impressions. Tune into my own channel like I do that more. I, I, I'm afraid doing this on a 700,000 subscriber channel because it's cringy. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Hey, Jeff. Welcome. How you doing? $10 per 100 parts. So it's not too crazy, I would say. Do you like the ghost you built? What do you mean? I don't build mocks. We show a lot of mocks on this channel, but I don't build them. Where can I buy the cheapest Lego Star Wars? Um, usually eBay is your best bet. Use sets on eBay, or sometimes people are doing really good deals on eBay. Uh, you're from Romania? So yeah, eBay. Probably you have eBay in Romania. Any like online auctions is the best way to get cheap Lego if you don't have stores doing sales, that is. All right, people. You are amazing. I'm going to be winding down. Thank you so much, chat. You're great. John, Joshua, I hope you like this show. It's the first time ever. I hope we can do something similar next week. Uh, I'm, I'm down. Um, and thank you so much for my lovely friend, Bricks O'Brien, who is in the chat as a moderator as well. Thank you so much for hanging out and making sure everything runs smoothly. Um, yeah. And thank you again, John and Joshua, for hosting me. Will message me later? Sure, dude. Catch me on Discord. Um... We don't sell Star Wars mocks. <laughs> we just we, we we we're not a, a mock store. Like some people are asking, are we selling the the, the mocks we we're, we're showing? No, we're not. Those are mocks from the lovely people of the Lego community, all and everybody. <laughs> Charlie, oh, well, it's been a while since I'm not on Brick Vault, so it's been a while. I would love to, but I don't think it's possible at this point. <laughs> Thanks for the news. Hey, Bay, thank you again. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, you have an amazing weekend. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. 20 seconds. Count to 20. Cover your face. Do those, all those things. Stay safe. I don't want to get into this topic too much, but you know what I mean. Um, and stay amazing. You guys are lovely. I hope to see you next week. If this happens to be a recurring series, I'm going to be going live every Saturday at 10 a.m. California Pacific Standard Time, right? Like today. And we're going to be covering news every week. Thanks for the awesome information. You guys are amazing. Subscribe to Beyond the Brick. Check out the cool factor. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.